Hemp Show. We'll teach you a thing or two about the power of hemp, about the power of peace, love, and understanding each. How are you doing? This is Magic. I'm here on Henry Hemp TV. I'm the resident chef. Tonight we're going to make homemade chicken and noodles. This is a homemade recipe my mom made back on the farm. We're going to try to make our homemade noodles for the chicken noodle soup right now. What you start with is six eggs. We're going to crack those six eggs. You put them in here. We're going to add a little flour. We're going to add a little milk. Oh! in the back just like that now you know you make sure you don't want to get any shells in there if you do just pluck those shells out let's see that's five and six eggs now what we're going to do is we're going to add a little milk uh it's a quarter of a milk i got a half a cup here i was going to make a big batch but i'm going to make a half a batch Add that quarter cup of milk right inside there. Now, I don't know, you can mix your eggs and your milk any way you can. I personally like to get in there and I like to use it the old school way like my mom used to do it and just stir with my hands. You can use a mixer and stuff if you want. Now, after you've got that mixed up, you know, kind of looks like scrambled eggs, go ahead and you're going to add just a little bit of salt. I like to use sea salt. It's much healthier. Da, 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 da. I just sprinkle a little bit of salt in there. Uh, funny story real quick, I made some caramel corn one time, homemade, as a kid, tried to surprise my parents, I put a quarter cup of salt. Oh my gosh, never use that much salt ever when you make stuff. So anyway, you're going to mix this up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add a little bit of flour in here. We're going to get it to a consistency that we'd like, and it's going to... so it's okay to spill some flour on the side. That's actually where we're gonna roll it out with our rolling pin. Now you know what, I know a lot of people uh, like myself in the past, I didn't have a rolling pin. I actually, uh, <laughs> I stopped putting it in the bowl and too much on the table. That's why sometimes you shouldn't uh, hit the earwax and medicate with the earwax before you start cooking. <laughs> uh, but you know what, I'm a chef on Henry Hemp TV, so. See how it's starting to knead up there? Kind of getting like cookie dough. And uh, you know, I don't know the exact measurement on the flour. I'm one of those, you know, again, old school, just kind of eyeball it, get it to the consistency of what you like for the noodles you want. All right, I'm kind of starting to, yeah, I'm starting to like, I think, uh, think that's what I'm gonna be able to start kneading with my hands there. All right, so yeah, you kind of get it to like a almost bread, almost bread consistency. All right. Make sure you get lots of flour in there. So, if it's just, you know, not quite as it dry enough, it's still kind of sticky, you just take a little flour, just add it in the middle, just kind of knead it in together. All right. <clears throat> now, once you've got your, uh, your ball of dough, you feel pretty good with the consistency you got. You feel like you can uh, knead this out. 
What you're gonna do is you're gonna roll this out into about a quarter inch thickness. And then we're gonna roll it up. No, it's a little bit thicker than a quarter inch. I think I can get a little bit longer out there. Get a few more noodles by making it a little wider. Huh? All right. All right, remember before you roll this up, you gotta make sure you got enough flour in there so it doesn't stick together. What you do is you just roll this up, roll it all the way up. you do is you just cut them about a quarter inch thick. Now that we got the noodles all cut up, we gotta cut up our chicken. Woo. I'm just gonna cut the chicken into some bite-sized pieces. So now we grab some noodles here. Be really careful. We are gonna unravel them, but we're gonna unravel them over there. And the reason we're gonna unravel them over there over the pot is as you unravel them, that flour is dropping inside there. And why we're unraveling them like that is so they don't um, all stick together. So, turn that up. Make sure it's boiling as you drop them in. And just make sure that you don't overcook them. Once you've got them all in there and they're cooked up, go ahead and add all of your ingredients, your chicken noodles and everything. Take it off the boil. Just let it simmer. And you're going to have some really good, amazing homemade chicken and noodle soup. I'm going to add a little extra spice. I like to throw in some crushed red peppers. I like to uh, add a little pepper, little spices. Ah, you know. Right. Yeah. All right, now that we've got the noodles cooked, we've got the broth made, the carrots, the celery, and we're adding the chicken. All mixing it together. This is about to be ready to be eaten. Here's that and you chicken know, sizzle as it hits the water. <laughs> and you know, when other people get in your kitchen, no, I'm just kidding. Folks, there's going to be some amazing chicken and noodle soup. We're going to let it simmer here for a little bit longer. Oh, look at this. we got carrots and cucumbers. i got spices added. Oh, it's good. Oh, look at this right here. Ah, now that does smell magical. Hey folks, this is Magic. I'm the resident chef on Henry Hemp TV. That is how you make homemade chicken noodles and soup. If you want to tell me what you think we should cook, and remember, we can always make it medicated, just write into hank at henryhemp.com and we'll make whatever you want to make. Mm-mm-mm. Literally, just like mom makes. My noodles were a little extra thick. I might thin them down next time. Folks, to make it a little extra spicy, I added some medicated cornbread. This is magic. I'm signing out on Henry Hemp TV. We'll see you next time. Always stay lifted, like my friend Muck Sticky would say. <laughs>